I'm Sarah Petal. I'm the executive director of the Busby Centre. Uh, the Busby Centre is a drop-in centre and overnight shelter for people that are experiencing homelessness and we have a variety of other services as well for outreach. So uh, we've been developing this project for a long time with our partners at Canadian Mental Health Association. In 2014 they purchased this building and we were able to all move into 88 and 90 Mulcaster Street. Uh, so Busby Centre was in 88 and CMHA were in 90 and we created a great uh, hub of services that were serving a lot of people. Uh, then the pandemic hit and life changed for all of us. Uh, the need has definitely grown so uh, in a discussion with uh, CMHA, we realized that there needed to be more space for Busby Centre and CMHA needed more space. So we decided that uh, Busby Centre was going to purchase the building and CMHA were going to be looking for other space and they've secured that. So now Busby Centre is able to go from 7,000 square feet to just under 17,000 square feet. And we're able to expand our services because the need is so great. So right now in our 88 Mulcaster location, it's, it's used for multiple purposes. So it's overnight accommodation. Uh, we actually have to have people step outside for a minute so that we can switch over into tables and chairs and stuff for in the morning service so that we can put our drop in together. And then we serve dinner at night. Uh, and then again, we're asking them to step outside so that we can, we can turn it into a shelter again. So with this space, we'll be able to expand not only the services that we're providing like our, our drop-in center and give people more space but we actually won't have to have them step outside so that we can turn it over um, that we can use the space in a more adequate way we can have our partners that come in right now to our drop-in and say hey I got to take this corner over here to speak with somebody about some really hard things um, we can now say here's a room for you to privately have that conversation with dignity for the person um, you know we, we can have a medical clinic here so that our paramedics that come in on a regular basis, our foot care nurse uh, can actually meet with people in a more adequate space and provide those very important medical services. So it's, it's really about providing more dignified space, creating bi bigger partnerships. We already have amazing partnerships, but creating bigger partnerships so that we can continue to serve the increased need of people that are experiencing homelessness and poverty in our community. So we are fortunate that we do receive some funding from the County of Simcoe uh, to provide some of our services, which is our outreach services, our drop-in, our, our shelter services, our trustee program. Um, however, it doesn't cover all the costs. So we do have um, additional fundraising that we have to do for that. Um, and at this time, you know, our expansion is really funded through the Busby Center. You know, our board of directors really took a chance and has really developed the need for this. Um, and, and now we need to continue to fundraise and, and get uh, support from our, our donors, which we've had many fantastic donors step forward. Um, so we just really need to continue with that so that we can continue to uh, pay down those those uh, you know mortgage costs and that kind of stuff so that we can continue to do the important work we're doing that's really what our focus is obviously the building is really important um, and we need that building uh, but we also just want to continue to do the services so yes we need you know the support from our, our donors for that uh, but then our, even with our programs we we can only uh, stretch a dollar so far with our funding and so volunteers are so needed in our work uh, they are the heartbeat of our our work it's pretty amazing when you see volunteers come in and they're helping with you know in the kitchen or they're helping with the laundry they're helping just connect with people making sure that there's coffee out that kind of stuff it's really a beautiful sight to see a community coming together so I think the, the biggest piece is really it's everybody can get involved at different levels, right? Well, you know, we have that we still need socks and that's a really important piece. So it's from there all the way to um, support for our capital campaign. We are trying to raise $2.2 million. And so we really do need support with that. But ultimately, again, all levels of, of everything is going to be really, really important. Uh, so if you want to come in and provide your time, if you want to provide a meal, uh, if you want to help with our sandwich train, um, you know, we, we make sandwiches for people every day uh, out in the community serving about 200 people a day. So that's, those are all really important pieces. So um, everybody can get involved with the Busby Center because everybody is somebody uh, that comes to our services but that also provides support to our services. So we will tailor make whatever way you would like to be involved.